Good morning, our brothers and sisters and lending community of LinkedIn. Uh, yet another session, another live stream with Turnkey Lender. Today we have a special guest joining, uh, Joseph Arnaud, who is the podcast uh, leader of the Lend Now group. Um, Joseph, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. I certainly appreciate being here. I am with thelending.com. It's a podcast to help in lenders uh, essentially leverage information to make the best decisions for themselves and to find solutions for answers they, they need or maybe even answers they didn't even know they needed. Fantastic. We're greatly honored to have your presence with us this morning. Uh, traditionally in this session, I get to interview people. Uh, today, we're going to turn that over on its head, and Joseph is going to interview me about uh, what Turnkey has to offer. So with that, I will turn it over to you, Joseph. Go kindly, well, please. Well, once again, yeah, thank you for, for having me. I was, uh, you know, I've done a little research on turnkey lenders. So I was definitely interested in learning your end-to-end -end digital solutions on how you can help a lender help increase their portfolio and, of course, increase their bottom line. Uh, so I'm just going to get started. Uh, for me, I always think of a lender life cycle, a, a consumer life cycle. So I want to start with the first thing, lead generation. Uh, I know that lenders receive applications from all sorts of uh, different vent or different, uh, you know, different ways, uh, SEO, uh, mm -hmm. their own website, of course, uh, digital. So how does turnkey lender help a lender, uh, you know, get all these leads and, and, and help them uh, sort them out? That's a great question, Joseph. So, Turnkey Lender has developed a platform that manages the complete loan life cycle for any type of lender. So if we were to focus specifically on the front end in customer acquisition, we could talk about different strategies. To your point, SEO, digital marketing, some type of mailing campaign. I think what we have found is it's very important these days to have different strategies for customer acquisition. So with Turnkey Lender in our platform, you could have a digital presence where if you were to market out to a client, they could either find a, a link on your website and apply here button, or if there was a mail out campaign, um, like some of the big traditional lenders that mail out a pre-approved, when that once that we've captured that borrower's information, we would simplify that application process so we could dot the I's, cross the T's, and ultimately give them a decision in real time. So I think the next step, of course, is the underwriting. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think this is where uh, possibly, you know, this is where the rubber meets the road, right? It's a yes or no decision. I think this is where Turnkey Lender can really shine as I've researched a little bit about your AI and your machine learning. Uh, so how does Turnkey Lender help the lender in this regard? Great question again, Joseph. So uh, through AI, through machine learning, uh, Turnkey Lender can take any type of credit product a lender would like or would want to offer or any type of credit uh, policy and collect information from a borrower and then compare that to the credit policy in real time. And so we use AI and we should use machine learning to really shorten that, that origination life cycle as much as possible. The other the unique piece of the puzzle for Turnkey Lender is that that platform is designed to manage the entire loan life cycle. So from customer acquisition all the way through collection and every behavior in between, right? So if you think about scoring a, 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 a client or borrower, if you think about their history, that, 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 that life of that loan, looking at every step, every piece of the puzzle that in relationship to the lender is very critical in having a good decision, uh, a, a decision in real time based upon behaviors of those borrowers. And we use several different formulas, several different strategies that we have developed over the years in our platform to look at those behaviors from the application process all the way through the payment process. And if a lender, maybe there's someone new to the, the market or someone, a storefront that's now converting over to the digital, mm -hmm. uh, to online, do you have maybe an out-of-box solution for them or uh, some best practices that they could follow? 
for sure, for sure. You know, um, we get all types of lenders. We get traditional lenders and we get non-traditional lenders on a regular basis coming and knocking on our door and asking for our services. Um, and regardless of whether they want to have a digital uh, strategy or a sticks and bricks strategy, we will consult with them to, to find the best solution that we can offer for them to leverage for the type of lending that they want to do. I always advise startup lenders to try to do as much as possible in a manual environment um, so that they can learn the ins and outs of the, of the, of the lending world, um, learn the behaviors of their borrowers, and then when they're ready, once they've made some revenues, then it's time to acquire software because that's when they can scale, right? So I always encourage lenders to try to do as much as possible um, from a startup perspective uh, manually learn about it it's important um, and then when they're ready acquire the software um, so lenders who are then maybe they already have a book of business they've been doing it a couple of years they haven't they've been doing it manually are you able to go back into that information retrieve the data look at their good borrowers or bad borrowers and then help them make better decisions moving forward yes we have in our implementation projects we have the ability to import um, existing loan portfolio data and history by borrowers or by credit products and bring that into the platform on an as-needed basis. I don't know if pain threshold is different for each lender and can certainly change over time as well. How quickly can Turnkey Lender dial that, dial that in or dial it, you know, to make it a little bit more tolerable for the lender? That's a great question. Um, so what I always like to highlight about Turnkey Lender is our flexibility. Um, we are not a technology that's been hard-coded to a specific type of credit product, right? So we could pick on auto or we could pick on mortgage where hard-coding development has gone into the specific functional requirements of that type of credit facility. With Turnkey Lender, it is a complete configuration uh, by lender, by credit product, by workflow for lenders. So if a lender has a credit policy, it's not hard-coded, right? We're obviously going to give the administrator the, the rights and the responsibilities to dial that in, but instead of having a hard-coded credit uh, policy that would require IT support to, to, to edit or to manage, say, in an up market or a down market, we train the, the admin, the credit officer, with the ability to dial to adjust that dial on an as-needed basis, on an appetite basis, right? In a market like we're in right now, let's tighten up our, let's tighten up our credit appetite. In an up market, let's loosen it a little bit and do it in real time. All right, so now we've gone through the decisioning. So a decision has been made. Uh, so it's either going to be a turn down, a maybe, or a yes. Uh, so let's start with the turn down. How does that flow through the system? Is there an automatic adverse action sent? What, what, how does turnkey lender support this? Very good question. So depending on the appetite, we could set it up. We can set up the, the, the platform so that a borrower could get an auto approval, um, you know, or, or could get a counter offer if they didn't meet a cer certain threshold or an adverse action letter would be, admit, be sent to the borrower. We could so set this. When, when you say a counter offer, can you have different, say, APRs for different thresholds, maybe for different scoring, different terms, uh, even for uh, different states or for that kind of setup? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, so if they, if the borrower has a certain requirement for a consumer type of loan, um, or if and if the, if the borrower or the applicant is above that, then an auto approval is issued. If the borrower is within a gray area, maybe there's a, well, then, a, then a, a lender could be notified, reach out to Jeff, he's not quite there. Maybe we get a co-borrower, maybe we don't approve him for the total amount that he's asking for, but are a lesser amount with a down payment, or we shorten the term. So it really is dependent upon the organization's appetite mm -hmm. as to how we structure that, that counter offer, right? but making sure that they miss no opportunity whatsoever. And then if there is a, if there is a, if the, if the system shows that, that, that there's no real reason to offer this borrower a loan, 
we would send out an adverse action uh, letter via email as quickly as possible. All right. So we have the we now have the customer. We've locked into an agreement. Uh, we've created the loan. Uh, how does Turnkey Lender integrate payment processors and, and show payments on the system? Because that obviously setting up the correct pay dates important, making sure that the payments are something the customer can afford. How does Turnkey Lender help with this? That's a great question. Um, so a couple points. Uh, first, we integrate with multiple payment providers today. So if, if there was a, if a borrower or if a lender already had a payment arrangement uh, with a third party, we would integrate with that, with that okay. payment provider. Um, secondly, we have a servicing module within the platform, um, and that can be set up for any type of payment arrangement that the borrower has the appetite for. Weekly, bi-monthly, monthly, semi-annually, you name it. Um, we recently had an opportunity to partner with a, a, a lender who wanted seasonal payments only for a specific uh, part of the year. Mm -hmm. We were able to configure our solution to meet those payments. Very unique situation. And then, okay, so now the payments are scheduled. I've seen it. I know it's rare, but a customer mm -hmm. may miss a payment. Mm -hmm. so how does a turnkey lender help with the collections of this? Uh, you know, of course, uh, the first missed payment, uh, first payment defaults are, uh, you know, one of the key metrics that are monitored. Uh, and so when a payment's missed, it's very important to have great communication with the customer, invite them back in to make those payments. What does Turnkey Lender offer in this regard? Great question. So again, complete loan life cycle management. Mm -hmm. um, should a borrower find themselves in a situation where they can't make a payment, uh, turnkey lender platform will act very much like a CRM, not to the extent of a sales force, but very much like a CRM, managing, monitoring, and making history of every type of attempt a lender has made to contact the borrower or communicate with the borrower. If a loan modification is needed, if, if a deferment period is needed, if, it, if it's interest only for a period of time, the, that lender has that type of capability within the platform. Um, if there was a if there was an integration needed to a third party uh, to be able to to go after the borrower or look at the borrower from that perspective, we can do that type of integration as well. So when you mentioned that type of integration, I know that in the past I've used say TransUnion to help me, and I'm not uh, you know advocating for TransUnion or anything. It's just a company that I've used. Um, yep. So I've used them to help. Uh, with skip tracing, and you, you mentioned that you would be able to integrate with something like that to, to help. That, that is correct. We have a very sleek API tool that gives mm -hmm. us the capabilities to integrate with about any type of platform or database that is in existence today. And so essentially you'd mentioned the API. You're able to integrate with, if I'm bringing vendors that I've used in the past, uh, you know, and I, I now maybe I want to, like I said, go to machine learning for the first time. Is something that I would be able to work with your team to to do that effectively and efficiently. Yes, yes, you would be able to. The other thing that we offer is that if if a lender wants to uh, get into a market and wanted to create or or leverage us for scorecard creation or decision mm -hmm. engine capabilities. Uh, our founders have that type of, of experience and history in their DNA. So if somebody wanted to advise with Turnkey Lender uh, for scorecard creation and scorecard capabilities, we can do that 100%. And I want to touch a little bit on reporting. What does that look like? I, I know that robust reporting is very important. If you're not looking at the numbers, you're sinking. So yes. what kind of reporting does Turnkey offer? Visibility is critical in today's yeah. in today's time. Um, the system can report on any type of data that re, that the system holds, or or any type of data that resides in the system. We can we can report on overall portfolio health, concentration, type of credit product, you name it. Um, you know, some of what our reporting looks like may look like a dashboard. And, and over here is, is good and over here is questionable and somewhere in the middle, we can build those, we can build those reports uh, from a dashboard perspective, making that visibility 
uh, very easy for, for somebody to understand from an executive perspective, not having to reach out and, and, and call the credit officer and, and, and have an explanation from the credit officer, rather logging in, looking at the loan portfolio health, looking at the last time a borrower submitted financial statements, looking at covenants, you name it. All right. Well, based on time constraints, that's all I, I wanted to ask you today. I, I would love if you guys are interested in a podcast, maybe I'll send an, in, an invite and uh, we'll mm -hmm. see about doing that as well. And uh, as time frees up, maybe we can do more of these as well. I really enjoyed this time. So I appreciate Thank that, Jeff. It's our pleasure. We, lo we love the opportunity to share um, our information and our network with our community of turnkey lenders. Um, thank you very much, Joseph Arnaud, for, for joining us today. I enjoyed the interview process. You were very, very succinct and very to the point, and uh, we look forward to doing this again. All right, and if anyone wants to learn more information about the Lend, Inc., the Lend Inc com, we host a virtual conference for lenders to meet vendors, to find solutions, uh, as I mentioned before. And, of course, we've got 20-some podcasts under our belt, so take a listen. Thank you very much.